It was just past 11 p.m. And I was in the back room of our building moving boxes around. It was just a regular hardware store and I was an overnight stalker there. My other co-worker that I usually work with was on vacation so it was just me for the night. I didn't mind though, because people always expect less from you when you're left alone, to do all the work so, if anything didn't get done it wouldn't really matter. I was working slowly taking my time all the deliveries that came in during the day needed to be put by the aisles where they belonged so I was just breaking down the pallets and putting boxes on. Carts that I would then roll into the main shopping area and stock the boxes from there. Once I had filled a few cards I grabbed one and pushed it to the aisle on the far left. It was raining or maybe even storming pretty heavily outside though through the rain I thought I heard something from the front of the building. I didn't really care, not even crossing my mind for a second that it was anything other than the building making noises. I took a few boxes and started stocking, humming to myself, to save me from the boredom. But then again I thought I heard something. I walked down to the front of the store and looked all the way at the other end where the front door was. There didn't seem to be anything or anyone. I stayed there for a little bit again and no rush to work. And then it happened again. I could have sworn this time that I saw something moving by the front door. And that was where the sound seemed to come from. Being in my place of work with all the doors locked, I wasn't really afraid of anything but more just wanted to make sure nothing strange was going on outside. I went up to the front door and looked out the glass, which I noticed had huge smudges and scratches on them. Nothing was outside no cars or people just heavy rain pouring down. I turned and started walking away back to where I was working. It was quiet for a while, maybe a whole hour even. But then the sound came again from the front door. I dropped what I was doing immediately and walked back to the front and from across the store. I could for sure make out a figure moving around outside the door. I began walking closer before the figure stopped, stood still for a second, then ran away. I ran up to the door trying to catch a glimpse of the person, but it was too dark and rainy. Looking at the door though there were definitely more marks on it than there was before. I was confident that this person was trying to break in. I pulled out my phone still standing by the door and called the police. The operator said it wouldn't be too long, just a few minutes. I put my phone back in my pocket and waited by the door. Looking around the parking lot was still empty, but then I turned my head to look against the building and on the very side was that same figure. I backed away, quickly worried that he may have seen me. I took several steps back and tried to be quiet. Not even 10 seconds later, the figure appeared right outside the door. While the glass was somewhat foggy and had raindrops all over it I could tell he was looking at me. He slammed something against the window. It looked like maybe a large rock. Then he hit it again. And again. Trying to break the glass. I backed away quicker and ran to then back of the store locking myself in the office. Through the building I heard the glass shatter and the alarm by the door go off. I waited in fear hearing nothing else. Few minutes of silence passed and I was growing more and more nervous. Until the police finally showed up. I heard them call out and walk around searching the place before they got to the office where I identified myself and told them what I knew. The guy wasn't in the store so I guess after he broke the glass he just left. It seems really weird and doesn't make any sense. Part of me even wishes that he had actually stolen something so that I'd at least know that that was what he was after. But given he didn't do anything after breaking down the door, I don't know what he wanted. And that is what still scares me to this day.